What's up, nerds? Xavier Elon here. Hope the pandemic's treating everybody good. Um, so this is Java 1D Array Part 2. I've <laughs> recorded this twice, and apparently the my little cor uh, screen in the corner covers the code, so hopefully third time's the charm. So we're just playing a game. Um, with it. Uh, They give us a, an element array named game, and we basically just want to see if we can get to the end. So if this is the... This is our game board, basically. Um, and they get the first line is the number of games we're gonna play. This is, second line contains, and oh, that's the number of spaces on the board or indexes, so five indexes. And this is the number that we can jump. So we can jump three indexes and we can move backwards, I minus one, so just back one. So we can go backwards we can go forwards one, and then we can jump three. So one, two, three, and we just want to see if we can reach the end right here. And um, uh, if you reach a one, it fails. You can't land on a one, and we have to update the zero when we land on it. So um, we just want to see if we can reach the end. You can't jump. If you're at a one, you can't jump. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I think that's the whole explanation we just have to return true or false so um, I drew this on my whiteboard or my iPad I'm gonna whiteboard it out for you guys so the um, intuition is we're going to do um, recursive stack calls so we're gonna call um, the I plus leap f first and then I plus one and then I minus one and we're gonna return it and we're also going to do ors. So if any, this is Boolean logic. So these are the ors. So if any one of these returns true, and the true case is going to be if uh, we reach the end, basically. So <clears throat> if any one of these returns true, I hope you guys know how Boolean or logic works. Uh, the whole game is true. But if we're false, it's going to keep, it's going to check the other ones. And it's going to, recursively call it in a stack. I hope you guys know how stacks work. I don't want to have to go over recursive stack functions in this video because that's kind of a long top uh, subject. So uh, in this case, we're going to try one, two, we're going to leap first. So three, we're going to update this to one. And since we called it, we're going to go again. We reached this, so we're going to return true. We reached the end. Um, down here, we're going to do one, two, three. We can't do that, so we're going to try I plus one next. Um, so we're going to do one. Let's update this to one. We're going to do I plus leap this time because we're going, it's a recall, it's recursive, so we're, it's going to go back to the top. It's going to loop through the function that we're going to write and go back to I plus leap. So we're, so it's going to do, we already did one, two, three. Um, that's false as well, so that doesn't work. And we're going to try I plus 1. That's false as well. There's a 1 right there. We're going to try I minus 1. Update this to 1. They're all false, so this is going to return false. It's not possible. Um, so, yeah, let's just code that out now. <coughs> so, I, I have a... I wrote a function... Um, where we're going to call these these possibilities. So we're going to pass, uh, let's just pass leap, game, and zero for the zeroth index, which is going to be i. And then we just need to write our function. And pass in our parameters. And so the first thing we want to check if i is greater than or equal to game dot length, which means we're at the end. Then we're going to return turn true. And if i is less than zero, which means we're off the board, or game i 
equals one. Um, that's we're going to return false. If game i is one, it's the case where there's a one in the um, index, and we can't do that. Or we got to return false. Sorry. And lastly, well not lastly. So game i. This is where we're going to want to update it uh, when we actually do jump. And then we just want to call our all three possibilities recursively. So return is solvable. Leap game i plus leap. Or so here's our Boolean or logic. And yes, you can see the code. I'm going to scroll down a little just in case. Leap game i plus one. Or in our last recursive call, leap game i minus one. That should be it for the. That's all you have to do. It should work. Let's see if it passes all the test cases. I'll run through it real quick one more time. So we're just if we're this is checking if we won. If we were at the end, then we return true. If it's less than zero, you know, if we go back from the beginning one, um, go out of bounds. So we return false. Um, and if game i equals one. The description says we can't. That's we can't do that. Um, I don't know where it is in the description, but it says it. And so we're going to return false. And here's where we're just updating it when we jump. So if we jump to a zero, we have to update it to a one because we've already been there. And here's the most the meat of the code. So we're rec we're calling it recursively. We're passing in i plus leap. So that's our Oh, sorry. Yeah, I fell asleep. Um, <clears throat> so we're calling that. It's going to go through, and we're going to update the zero, and it's going to reach this again, and it's going to call leap again. But in the second case, in this case, it's going to call leap. It's going to return false. As soon as it re basically as soon as it returns true, we're over. Um, so in the first example, in this example, it's going to return true on the second is solvable i plus leap call. In the second example, it's going to run, th it's going to try a few. Um, I think we tried leap first, that didn't work. So we tried i plus one, that worked. So we tried i plus leap again. Um, those all return false, and eventually we just run out of possibilities. And that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be doing um, videos. Calculus 2 is kind of kicking my ass right now. So I haven't been doing as many, but I plan on getting back to it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.